Welcome biologists to this session where we're going to be taking a look at the structure of a liver. And we're going to be looking at some stained sections of the liver as well. The functions uh, involved in the bottom half here, these different functions, we're going to look at in the second video. So the liver is found just below the diaphragm in your abdomen and it actually has two blood supplies that feed it. The first blood supply is from the hepatic artery which brings oxygenated blood from the aorta. This is important because your liver is going to need oxygen for processes such as aerobic respiration to generate ATP. The second blood supply is from the hepatic portal vein and this delivers deoxygenated blood from the digestive tract. The liver needs this because this blood will contain toxins which it will try and cleanse the blood of and it also contains nutrients which are needed such as for example glucose for aerobic respiration. The liver has one blood supply that leaves and this is carried away in the hepatic vein into the vena cava which is then taken back to the heart. Um, it will be under a lower pressure this blood due to the a network of capillaries that are in the liver. This increases the cross-sectional area of the blood supply and therefore decreasing the pressure involved. Now the liver is actually in two different lobes and in each of the lobes we have lots of these cylindrical lobules which you can see here. The lobule, um, this is a cross-sectional area of a lobule in a cartoon version and you do need to be aware of the different components here and how to label them. So here in this image, you can see I've got the central vein in the center of uh, center of my lobules. And on the outside, I have um, other blood supplies, such as my um, hepatic artery and my hepatic portal vein. Now, you can tell the differences here. So you need to be able to label these in an, in a, in an image like this. You can tell the difference here between the hepatic portal vein and the hepatic artery due to the diameter of these blood vessels. So the hepatic a uh, portal vein you can see here has a wide diameter uh, and we know already from our transporting animals back at AS that a vein has a wider lumen than an artery here. So you can tell the difference in an image between the artery and the vein. Now the sinusoids, uh, these connect my um, hepatic portal vein and my hepatic artery to my central uh, vein here, my hepatic venule, which then feeds into my hepatic vein. Okay, here's a bit more information about a lobule. You want to pause and read that, but I'm going to move on to have a look at some of the other things. So we want to pause and read this, please do. But this is what we need to know about in a bit more detail. So you can see here, again, we've got the branch of the hepatic portal vein, which has got a wide lumen in comparison to the hepatic artery. So I know that this is my uh, hepatic portal vein and this is my hepatic artery they are both feeding here as you can see the arrows they are both feeding in to the sinusoids and then passing into my central canal which then feeds into my hepatic uh, vein there's also another duct here present and this is my bile duct and as you can see here it flows in the opposite direction so you know that this is the bile duct because it flows in the opposite direction to the blood supply in the sinusoids now I've got a bile canal, it's also known as a bile canicli, and this connects the vein to the bile duct. Uh, and the bile is actually formed in the hepatocytes that line this bile canaliculi. We've got Kupfer cells, and these are attached to the walls of the sinusoids. They remove bacteria and break down red blood cells. And we also have hepatic cells, which these break down the products that are found in the blood brought from the hepatic portal vein. From, from the digestive tract, such as al alcohol, and they also make bile. They're also involved in things like aerobic respiration, generate ATP. You really need to be aware of here the direction of the blood flow or the, the bile flow, and also the lumen size of the different uh, vessels involved here in, in order to be able to identify what is what. So a little bit more information about sinusoids if you want to pause and read that. Again, you can pause and read that bit as well. Um, here is just another diagram here to show you the differences between the different vessels involved and the direction of the flow involved as well. So the bile will flow into the, the bile duct and then it'll be carried to the gallbladder where it's stored until it's needed by the body. Here is another uh, microscope image that you may be asked to identify. And there we are. So that's everything you need to know about the structure of the liver. In the next video, we're going to have a look at some of these functions that go on within the hepatocytes and within the liver. Good luck with your